banks and financial institutions. A commercial bank is a type of financial intermediary and a type of bank. An institution which accepts deposits, makes business loans and offers related services. Commercial banks also allow for a variety of deposit accounts such as checking, savings and time deposit. These institutions are run to make a profit and owned by a group of individuals. Commercial banks occupy a vital position as they provide funds for different purposes as well as for different time periods. Banks extend loans to firms of all sizes and in many ways like cash credits, overdrafts, term loans, purchase or discounting of bills and issue of letter of credit. The rate of interest charged by banks depends on various factors such as the characteristics of the firm and the level of interest rates in the economy. The loan is repaid either in lump sum or in installments. Bank credit is not a permanent source of funds. Though banks have started extending loans for longer periods, generally such loans are used for medium to short periods. The borrower is required to provide some security or create a charge on the assets of the firm before a loan is sanctioned by a commercial bank. Merits of a commercial bank Timely assistance provided by banks to business by providing funds as and when needed by it. Information supplied to the bank by the borrowers is kept confidential, thereby maintaining secrecy of the business. It is an easier source of funds as formalities such as issue of prospectus and underwriting are not required for raising loans from a bank. Since the loan amount from a bank can be increased according to business needs and can be repaid in advance when funds are not needed, it is considered as a flexible source of finance. Demerits of a commercial bank Extension or renewal of funds is uncertain and difficult as they are generally available for short periods. The procedure of obtaining funds is slightly difficult as banks make detailed investigation of the company's affairs, financial structure, etc. and may also ask for security of assets and personal sureties. In some cases, difficult terms and conditions are imposed by banks for the grant of loan. For example, Restrictions may be imposed on the sale of mortgage goods, thus making normal business working difficult. Financial Institutions Both central and state government have established a number of financial institutions all over the country to provide finance to business organizations. They provide both owned capital and loan capital for long and medium term requirements and supplement the traditional financial agencies like commercial banks. These are also called development banks as these institutions aim at promoting the industrial development of a country. In addition to providing financial assistance, these institutions also conduct market surveys, provide technical assistance and managerial services to people who run the enterprises, 
This source of financing is considered suitable when large funds for longer duration are required for expansion, reorganization and modernization of an enterprise. Merits of Financial Institutions 1. Unlike commercial banks, financial institutions provide long-term finance. 2. These institutions also provide financial, managerial and technical advice and consultancy to business firms besides providing funds. 3. Goodwill of the borrowing company increases in the capital market by obtaining loan from financial institutions. Consequently, it is easier for such a company to raise funds from other sources as well. 4. It does not prove to be much of a burden on the business as repayment of loan can be made in easy installments. 5. Easy availability of funds even during periods of depression when other sources of finance are not available. Demerits of financial institutions 1. Rigid criteria is followed for grant of loans by financial institutions. The procedure becomes time-consuming and expensive due to many formalities. 2. Restrictions are imposed on the powers of the borrowing company by the financial institutions such as restriction on dividend payment. 3. Financial institutions may restrict the powers of the company by having their nominees on the board of directors of the borrowing company thereby. The following are the various financial institutions established by the government. One. Industrial Finance Corporation of India or IFCI 2. State Financial Corporations or SFC 3. Industrial Credit and Investment Corporation of India or ICICI 4. Industrial Development Bank of India or IDBI. Five, State Industrial Development Corporations or SIDC. Six, Unit Trust of India or UTI. Seven, Industrial Investment Bank of India Limited. To summarize, commercial banks provide short and medium term loans to firms of all sizes. The loan is repaid either in lump sum or in installments and the rate of interest charged depends upon certain factors. Financial institutions are established by both central and state governments all over the country to provide industrial finance to companies engaged in business. This source of financing is considered suitable when large funds are required.